We're talking Ruby Volume 9 spoilers. If you're not caught up, go get caught up and then come back, please. Barbara, big things this chapter. Finally, we've been waiting for it. We see Bumblebee on screen for the first time. <laughs> what was that for you to finally see that happen on screen? Oh my God. I don't think I'm still mentally prepared for it. <laughs> like I went into the voice booth being like, how am I supposed to do this? How yeah. am I supposed to act this scene out that I, I know that so many of us have been waiting for? <laughs> Feels like I've been waiting forever for that. I was weeping. Like, it was, couldn't it was breathe yeah. weeping in that moment. I think the design for that scene, the writing of that scene was just so perfect for that moment. It was the culmination of so many things that happened between Blake and Yang, and finally getting to get to that moment, I think was just so meaningful for me and Aaron. I have so many feelings of it, yeah. but I, I think like a lot of the characters kind of hinted in that moment, like, finally, <laughs> yeah, we've been waiting for a while. But I think it was done in such a beautiful and perfect way. It's been so hard to sit on that for so long. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because, you know, we obviously knew this was coming for a while, and then we wrote this a long time ago. 2020. In 2020, as yeah. when we yeah. wrote so it. We've been like, just like, just waiting. I think we've also known this was going to happen like even before volume one. It's been a thing. It's, yeah. it's like it has been a thing for a very long time. We're very happy and we're happy for them. And I know there's you know, a big community out there that loves to see it. Yeah. And I, we love to see it too. I love to see it over and over and over again. Yeah. Part of the thing too was that, you know, we wanted every kind of episode to feel like its own little story. Mm -hmm. And we liked putting our team at a literal crossroads through this punder storm, uh, <laughs> right? Because we wanted to have like just weird stuff happen to them in the ever after. And it felt like a really good time to get the two of them with each other. And then they have this weird weather pattern that is like forcing them to work out their issues, right? right? We didn't know exactly what that was going to look like. And then in writing it, it was kind of like, oh, how do they take the next step? And that was the thing that felt like the right thing to do. This volume has let us be a little on the nose about things yeah. in a way that yeah. we're, all, we're all very clear that we're doing it, right? <laughs> yes. And we try and, and do it in a way that is, is fun and, and, and different. I think also taking it away from Remnant, like in this moment, it's just them. Right. Yeah. Like there is nothing else that exists in this moment, just those two. You're not two. leaving until you solve this. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So you confront this. It kind of yeah. forces them into this moment, which I think was, oh, it was just so beautiful. Well, what I, I took away from it too was watching Watching it again, um, writing wise, is like we have the whole play on the idea of, and they lived happily ever after. Mm -hmm. This is a fairy tale mm -hmm. story. Well, they're living happily in the ever after. Mm -hmm. This might not be the end for them. <laughs> this is the beginning of their new relationship. Yeah. We've seen their back and forth. They're literally addressing their emotional conflict, and now together they will leave changed, but whole. Mm -hmm. you know? yep. I'm yeah. gonna need to watch every reaction video. Yeah. <laughs> oh, over I've over been again. dying for it. <laughs> At every single screening like we've had like internally, like we're giving feedback and stuff. I just get Issa and Aaron just like I'm furious crying. aside. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen it like a dozen times yeah. at this point. It yeah. still gets me every time. I was really greedy because like I, I started out directing the episode and then uh, I had to work on something else. So uh, Issa took over. Uh, she did a great job. Mm. That one scene though, I was like, I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> I'm still directing this one. It's funny because I really wanted to write that episode. Yeah. For, Everybody wanted it. Yeah, actually, what I really wanted to write was the reversal of the fairy tale stuff. Mm -hmm. But it was like also pretty good secondary yeah. reason yeah. <laughs> was yeah. to be able to write that scene. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, talking about that, you know, like Ruby has always been kind of steeped in fairy tales in general, and this one is an in-world fairy tale. Like you're writing your own fairy tale inside of a fairy tale. Like how was how was that structure important to the season? It felt like it gave kind of a one, a, a clear path for for the characters to follow, right? Like we were trying to do the same thing that happened in the story. And then even as our characters are learning that it isn't always like it is in the fairy tales and the fairy tales aren't really real in the sense right. of the simplistic emotional messages, they actually learn that this fairy tale they've been following is not, like it's a lie. And so it, it felt like a great moment halfway through the season, this goal that they've had the entire time, this friend they've made in the cat to suddenly feel like, wait, why didn't the cat tell us everything? And now we've run into our old friend, John, and he is, Literally like, old. Yeah. <laughs> our, yeah. old <laughs> our old friend. Our old friend. And was a part of the fairy tale yeah. the whole time because yeah. it's this weird, crazy Wild. time business. We're just like, if we're going to be weird. Let's get weird yeah. with it. You know, like <laughs> we talked about that a lot of like, it, it just, it's something I think felt not as interesting as like just seeing John. And it was like, yes. so how do we do something with him? And, and, you know, we'll explore this more as the season goes on. But I mean, he spent a lot of time by himself. I mean, look at that hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, he's hot. <laughs> <laughs>